Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. After an amazing summer I spent on holidays and uh, after a few months I didn't put any video on because I couldn't as I was working for a makeup company. But now I'm back charger than before. I bought new uh, lighting for my setup and I hope you're gonna appreciate the quality of the video. Today I'm here with my friend Claudia and we're gonna show you how to achieve this amazing Hollywood pinup glam um, look. I did makeup and hair in this tutorial so you can watch and learn how to do both. First of all I wanna uh, I wanna do a little bit of historical introduction. Um, let's say that the 50s were an era of reborn because it was the era after the Second World War. So the world was over and there's lots of happiness. Uh, everyone was dancing. Teenagers were allowed to go out for the first time ever there's more independence, more money, um, there's the born of Technicolor movies, we can uh, remember The Wizard of Oz with their amazing colors. Um, as music they had the swing and um, for fashion women started to wear trousers. Uh, Chanel already started the revolution in the 30s but it's in the 50s that women start to wear trousers in real everyday life. When we think about the makeup, we can say that the 50s makeup had become more natural looking. The products were better quality and there was more choice in the color than ever before. Um, also, the eyes were not heavily made up, the look was an all over without any particular emphasis on one feature. Um, if we think about um, the features of the makeup, we can say that one feature of the 50s were the eyebrows. They were very angular, very thick. They used to be drawn with pencil. We can think about Marilyn Monroe, um, Audrey Hepburn and later on Elizabeth Taylor or Brigitte Bardot. We can take them as models for the uh, look they used to recreate in that period. Um, talking about the eyes, we can say that they were very monochrome. There is only uh, two or three colors on the eyes. Normally it's a light color on the eyelid with a darker color in the crease just to define the crease and a lighter color under the brows to illuminate the eyes. They used uh, eyeliner, black eyeliner with a nice flick to the end. The eyeliner was very thick uh, and they also used fake eyelashes to uh, make bigger eyes. On the face, um, we can say that they used to sculpt the face a lot. They used the blush in a way that we use today um, the contour. So they used uh, to sculpt the face. On the lips, um, the most the most used color was the red. And today, also in movies, on the models, they use a lot Ruby Woo by MAC, which is the emblematic red of the 50s. They also used to draw on a uh, fake uh, beauty spots as you can see I did and uh, uh, for the hair um, the most popular um, hair way of doing the hair was the victory rolls which you can see so let's start with the tutorial I started by using the L'Oreal True Match foundation in number N4 uh, with the MAC 130 brush uh, duo fibers on the face concealer I'm gonna use the MAC Studio Finish Concealer in number NW25 which is a very warm tone so I'm gonna apply it with my fingers because I find it blends easier and better. So I'm gonna curl my lashes with my Shuemura eyelash curler and they're gonna be ready afterwards for the application of mascara. Now I'm gonna use my Soft Ochre Paint Pot, always by MAC Cosmetics, as a primer and I'm gonna apply it with my favorite um, Real Techniques brush which really buffs the products in. So we are gonna apply it all over. After 
priming the eyes, I'm gonna skip two brows. After combing them, I'm gonna fill them with this uh, eyeshadow by MAC, which is called Brun. So I'm gonna start by the end, which is always darker. The brows are gonna end where the eyes end. Uh, and also, I'm gonna do a very angular shape, as I said in the beginning. So uh, now we're gonna do the uh, inner part. I'm gonna draw a line underneath and then I'm gonna flick the brush up. Once we finish the brows, we comb them up and now we skip to eyeshadow. I'm gonna use Vanilla from MAC, which is a very versatile eyeshadow we can use for lots of looks. And I'm gonna apply it on the eyes with the MAC um, brush as well. So we do different layers just to build up the product, just on the eyelid. Into the crease, we're gonna use another color. So now we take always from MAC this amazing color which is Omega, you can also use for loads of different looks, it's a perfect color for the crease and I'm applying it with the buffing brush always by MAC which is 217, one of my favorite brushes ever and I'm gonna apply it into the crease all over. Now we take Espresso always from MAC which is a cold brown color and we're gonna just define the end of the crease in a V shape just to give more depth and definition. And now I'm gonna blend it with a soft brush, this is by Bobbi Brown Blending Brush. I also put vanilla under the brows, so it's the same eyeshadow I used on the lid. And in the inner uh, waterline we're gonna use a battery uh, pencil. Now we skip to the eyeliner, I'm using the Maybelline Gel Liner in black. And we're gonna do a very thick eyeliner with a flick in the end. I'm very sorry for the camera because I, I was with my hair on the camera but I hope you can see uh, what I'm doing so I did before the inner part and now I'm doing the outside one always use a very thin brush I'm using the 2110 for uh, by MAC cosmetics which is an amazing brush for eyeliner now as you can see I'm moving to the outside parts of the eyeliner so I'm drawing a part in the outside so I'm just gonna elongate my eyes imagining a line and now I'm gonna work backwards so after doing this line upwards I'm now gonna twist the brush and work the other way around I'm gonna draw a triangle and then I'm gonna color it and fill it in don't worry if it's not precise the end because the trick is here you can see take a cotton bud with some makeup remover and you're gonna do a very precise edge in the outside um, sorry in the bottom part of the eyes we're gonna also apply some espresso eyeshadow which we used before in the outside corner just blending it um, till the mid part of the eyes don't worry about the inner corner because we're gonna put some highlighting there and now as you can see I'm applying some highlighters this is vanilla pigment from MAC in the inner corner as a mascara, I'm gonna use uh, the I Love Extreme by Essence. And this time for falsies, these ones are by MAC, but I can't remember the number. They are very natural though. So I'm sticking them with some duo glue to have a very nice cut eye, as you can see. We're gonna powder everything in place. I'm using NYC Smooth Skin Powder very softly, just to put away any shine. To contour, I'm gonna use my Sleek Contouring Palette. I'm taking the matte shade. I'm just gonna give some shape to the cheeks.
as highlighter, of course, my favorite soft and gentle just on the top part of the cheeks. They really didn't highlight in the 50s, but this is a modern twist. Now I'm gonna prime the lips with my MAC Prep and Prime lips and I'm gonna give them shape with Cherry Lip Pencil, always from MAC. And as a lipstick, of course, Ruby Woo, which is the amazing 50s red ever. So just drawing the lips with this amazing color. And you can see the effect it gives. It lasts for hours. You can drink, eat, talk, kiss, anything. It won't move. And now we skip two hair. We're gonna do a mid part, and then we divide the hair in two sections on the sides of the ears. And then we're gonna take like a triangle section going from the mid part to the ears and we are gonna comb um, each section. So we are actually back combing, not combing, sorry for my English. When we back comb every section we now twist it around our um, hand to give like a roll shape. And then we fix it with some uh, bobby pins. Put some hairspray and we're gonna fix all the baby hair frying around. These are the victory lows. Now I'm gonna draw a fake uh, beauty spot and that's the finished look. I hope you loved it. As always, if you did, please give me a thumbs up, share the video to your social media, uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and you can find the list of all the products I use on my blog on my website. Thank you, I'll see you to the next one. Bye bye. All the links to my socials are in the info box description below the video.